Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Um, I want to thank everyone for leaving such uh, sweet comments on my craft room tour video last night um, or this morning. Anyway, there was a couple of things that I didn't get to go over. Um, I know it was such a long video and yet I still missed a couple of things. But anyway, I thought I would just go ahead and um, do a second video. And now that it's daytime, it's Saturday, I thought I'd just show you guys um, what my craft room usually looks like during the day. And I usually sit in front of this beautiful view. And as you guys can see there, let me see if I can zoom out. That is my, my window. And I get this beautiful hill right here. Um, my craft room faces uh, this hill and beyond, um, behind the hill is actually a state park. So I do get wild animals here. <laughs> so I um, have to make sure that Teddy is safe in the back when he's there. So anyway, I also wanted to show you guys, um, I didn't get to talk about the banners up here. Oops, let me just zoom. Um, the banner and like some projects that um, some friends gifted to me and, you know, from our swaps. Um, so this banner right here, it says mm -hmm. Inspire. And this was created um, for me by Kamika. Hi, Kamika. And we had done a swap and um, we both love shabby chic, so... Um, check out her room tour also. She did a room tour recently, so it's awesome. Um, this box here that has um, my initial here, um, that is gifted to me by my first swap partner, which is Lena, who is Milk Shop on YouTube. Um, the little, what do you call that? The little um, birdhouse right there is something I altered to the left of that. Um, the Secret Garden, that is one of my creations. It's actually a mini album um, with a box behind it, a matching box. This um, mini right here, box mini that says cute, that is from Kamika when we did our swap. And the pedestal with the crocheted macarons, that's from Sophia. I'm sorry about, sorry about the shakes, you guys. I'm just holding up my camera. Um, the book box right there that is altered by Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Um, she is Paper Sweets on YouTube. And that box mini is from Sophia as well. And also that uh, pink shabby um, uh, basket wired basket there. She altered that for me as well. Um, here the birdcage with full of flowers. That's from Lena. And then this is my winnings. Um, it's a tilde box. Isn't that pretty? And then the other thing that I didn't get to share with you guys is how I store let me see if I can move here real quick and move this. How I store my paper. So, again, I have the, the big units. Let me zoom out real quick, sorry. Uh, hard to do this one-handed. So, again, I have the, you know, my shelving that I showed you guys last night. Um... Ooh, I just dropped one of my umbrellas. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm like in the best spot here, I guess. Sorry about that. So anyway, this is how I store my paper. Um, oh, I'm just going to take that off. Okay. This is where my loose 12 by 12s are. My, um, let me just show you guys. There's some envelopes here on the left envelopes um these are my chipboard pieces i mean like alphas i think in numbers um these are my craftsmith you know the solids um 
from Michaels. This is where I store my glitter paper, some chipboard here. These are some kits that I haven't used. They're Prima kits. Um, this is like my sleeves, my baseball sleeves for my pocket letters. These are my 12 by, not, not 12 by 12s, 8 by 8s and my A4 size paper pads. Um, some 12 by 12 um, gorgeous. These here, these are my gorgeous um, 12 by 12s. Also the, what do you call it, trim craft. My uh, first edition papers. Um, these are just envelopes. I have some journaling cards here. They're still in their boxes, so they just kind of fit in there. And these are some 12 by 12 papers that are kind of, um, I hoard. <laughs> these are mostly graphic 45 papers, some Kaiser Craft. Um, then the way I store my 6x6, six six, I have these bins from Daiso and they fit perfectly. Um, I've gotten several bins and this is the best one that works for me that holds my 6x6. Six six. And that is the, the brand here, the Color Life or the, the collection, I guess. Here, this is where I keep my Gorgeous Girl stamps. I have several there. And here, just some Gorgeous Girl embellishments and journaling cards, um, things like that. Um, some more 6x6 six six papers there in the bin. And this is my 12x12 12 12, um, papers, Prima, um, my shabby chic ones, um, like Tilda. And then some more 12x12s 12 there. Some... Eight and a half by 11 papers and below that there's some more embellishments in a bin there and some more 12 by 12s as you guys can see I separate my 12 by 12s because it's easier to get to if they're all stacked all in one pile it's hard to get to and I um, this is what works for me I actually have more 12 by 12s, but I've stored that elsewhere. Um, you know, the older paper collections that I've already used, that I'm not using now, um, I've kind of put away. And in this way, you know, this is like more like my vintage papers right here, like my Graphic 45 stuff. Um, you know, like I said, this is my shabby chic 12 by 12s. These are like my foiled ones. Um, and um, glittery ones that like my DCWV Craftsmith papers and then below is just a mixture of different you know my co more colorful ones so that's how I've, I've stored it and we'll see how this works out for me but I think I like it um, and there's room to put more paper pads there because you guys know you know <laughs> we're gonna get more paper right so um this is working out. So, I don't know. I guess I might not be able to fit more 8x8s here, um, which I don't always purchase anyway. But, um, yeah, that's how I, I store my paper. Um, and then, let me just move over here because I didn't get to show you guys this other shelf that I have. When you walk up the stairs, actually, this is the first thing that you see. And above here, I have like my fairies, fairy containers there, my photo box there. Um, that's something I altered, which is like a jewelry box um, using Prima. I think it's the princess collection. Um, just some more fairy uh, displays there. And... Um, that's um, a Valentine project that I did a while back and then here which I'm probably gonna move but for now this is where my lace box sits um, I, I've 
I have to reorganize it again. It was organized at one point, and I basically just put them in these spools. This is gifted to me by um, Paper Sweets. But, yeah, I have to reorganize this again. It got a little crazy again with all the trims and stuff. But those are most most of my laces. Um, I do, I think, have another bin for trims. Oh, which I didn't get to show you guys. Um, in this other area here, which is kind of a mess right now, I have to see. And what's nice is, you know, I do get to cover up my mess. If this is a crazy mess right here, then I just do that. <laughs> I just slide and close the door. Um, but anyway, I also have some decorative boxes right here. Let me show you guys below. That's where I keep my... I have a big box. These are all from Michaels. The bigger box on the bottom that holds my fabrics. Um, the one in the middle there holds my trims. Um, these are doilies. Um, that third box there, um, what's in this one? I think just more like laces and, um, what do you call them? Um, seam binding, things like that. Um, and here's another box for bling right here. So you can see, this is like, this, that's where I keep like my art attack, uh, stuff. Um, things that are still in the package that I don't, you know, want to take out of the package. Um, and then this, I still have to alter this here, but I also have my already cake stuff in here. It's, um, it's a nice way to display your bling. And one of these days I will just take them out of the packages and just keep them in there just to make more room. But that this is going to be my, my bling box. Okay, so... Um, lastly, I just want to share what other storage system I've used, I've decided to use. Let me just um, cover it up so you guys don't get dizzy because I'm turning around. So I found that this is a good way to store my extra stuff or store stuff that I'm not currently using. Um, like I put away all my Christmas um, crafty things and also um, my Halloween stuff. And this is how I've decided to store them. This is a one of those under the bed um, bins. And I think we just got them from Target. They're clear so I can see them, but I also label them. And they're huge. They, um, they can store a lot. And as you guys can see here, this is where I keep all my Valentine and Easter craft supplies. So... When it's not in use, when I'm not using any of this stuff, it's just going to go under my bed. I can store as many as eight of these bins under my bed. So that is so awesome. So it's been a lifesaver, believe me. And so right now I'm working on Valentine's stuff. So there's my Valentine's stuff and my Easter. Um, so... I might have to separate this eventually because I think I have more Easter stuff somewhere in the garage. But um, hopefully I'll be able to use up a lot of my um, Valentine stuff. They're kind of mixed up right now because I started putting stuff in there as I was organizing. But see, it's nice because then I just, you know, pull this bin when I'm working on Valentine stuff, when I'm done with you know, whatever holiday it is, I just stick them under my bed. And since my craft room is right next to my bedroom, it works out. So that's just another idea. I hope I'm helpful. Um, this is just another storage system that you guys can use. Just label everything. Label, label. <laughs> so you know where to find all your stuff. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.